What's up, everybody? I got a really cool tour with you today. I got TJ from which company? Venture House. Venture House. I knew I was going to mess up that name, so I wanted to say it right. Venture House. We got a pro master behind us. He's going to show us a really, really clean build right now. Him and his team does, right? Your whole team? Whole team. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to share it with all of you. Here we go. Yo, yo. Man, the myth, the legend. Now, you have a uh, really cool uh, company. You yes. have done some designing and building for a long time yeah talk to me about it so uh i guess it honestly starts as born my home in a commune about a year after i was born my dad decided to add a second story to our house without hiring a general contractor and so i basically lived in a construction site for the first like five or six years of my life eventually decided i needed to learn how to build a little bit more professionally a friend in san diego asked me to help her build a bed in her van and that catalyzed a few more people asking me to help with van builds i ended up here in denver colorado and studied industrial design now our team is uh, myself caroline and hannah are also industrial designers an intern that's currently in the program and then a few other people helping us out to make vans that are geared towards your specific use cases. And now this one, Venture House 2, is gonna be a model that we're selling as a base package with minimal customization. We've taken our ideas and expertise from six years of building vans and boiled them down to a package that's designed for two people to live off-grid comfortably. Ram ProMaster 2500, 159? 159. 159 wheelbase. Non-extended. Why don't we walk in and kind of yeah. check things out? Cause yeah. this is, like, I don't want to call it minimalist, but should I say minimalist or yeah. should I say yeah. like functionality? Yeah, so, well, something that I am always cautious about is I like to build things clean. Okay. But I don't like things that don't feel like a home. Someone came in here the other day and, was, and said, you know, it feels like a contemporary home. It does feel very contemporary. And it still feels like a home. It's just contemporary. And I was like, dang, that's a great way to describe it. Really aim to make things that are quality, durable, intentional, ergonomic, okay, and affordable. Now I noticed that I am a lighting snob. And yes. you have no ceiling lights. Never. And you have <laughs> all indirect lighting on the walls pointing up and down. Yes, thought process behind that is most vans put the lighting right here. But most of the time when you're in a van, you're right here facing this way, meaning there's a shadow where you want light. So I said, screw the ceiling, we're going on the walls. Secondary benefit of that is we have a modular system here we'll talk about later. Yeah. But a lot of people put lights under their cabinets. Yes, they do. And so to have modular cabinetry, we needed a lighting system that was separate from the cabinets themselves. Indirect sconce lighting that we build in-house to make by hand. That's pretty awesome. Now, you did say you wanted to talk about this, you know, uh, mobile or uh, what did you call Modular. it? Modular. Module, excuse me, module system uh, that obviously you can do different pieces on. Yes. Upper cabinets, you obviously can do whatever. You have a track system, which is a little different than what most people see in vans. Yeah, so a lot of companies use L-Track. Now, L-Track was originally designed for airplanes and cargo control. From a design perspective, it feels like a compromise. Mm -hmm. It feels like taking something from one industry and adapting it to a home. To me, it always felt a little too industrial for a space. We've gone ahead and sourced an aluminum extrusion that takes a standardized 5 16 nut and we've made a couple different modules for it. You can simply loosen these big knobs You slide that you take that nut pretty nifty yeah slide it in here these are machined custom mm -hmm. slots we do that in-house on our own cnc one down here i'm gonna find this nut i'm gonna link up with this one down here and boom and then i'm gonna attach these umps now it looks like it's a, either a towel rack or some sort of drying rack or whatever you want to yeah. call so it. You can hang a suit here, you can hang a towel here, you can hang your laundry here. You could also uh, just put in a uh, T-nut and then attach a 5 16 eye bolt and use bungees and things like that. We have a cabinet over here. We've intentionally left the face off. So you could show people? To show yeah. the mounting here. That's There's four awesome. points, one here, 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 and there. 
And if you want to really load this cabin up with something heavy, we add some extra points in there. That's pretty Bulletproof. solid. Yeah. That's pretty solid. Solid. Yeah. Right on. Starting with just uh, three modules. The traditional cabinet you've seen a van, you know, has a full face on it. It's going to overhang about an inch with a chamfer on the back side. If mm -hmm. you're unfamiliar with what a chamfer is, it's just a 45 degree cut on the back side of it. And then it'll open up and we uh, use marine springs, not gas struts. So it's going to be a spring that um, when it unfolds, it stays open. Okay. Then to collapse it, you just bump it with your finger and it'll fold back up. We're also going to offer a bar and then a bungee system. And we'll talk more about bungees. We use a lot of those in this van. We're gonna move back up here real quick. Um, and also you you said real quick, uh, you talk, you mentioned the CNC. Yes. So you have a CNC uh, machinery do all of this. So this is precision cutting. Yes. You use a really, really nice material when it comes to plywood. You use a light ply or something yes. along those lines. Yes. And so this is gonna be a very light build. It is. So comparing it to our past builds, we were using Baltic birch for a long time. A great material. It's very machinable, high quality, dimensionally stable, water resistant glues, but it's pretty heavy. And we try and use it in thinner varieties when possible mm -hmm. uh, to minimize weight. Because it's so strong, you can get away with, you know, not putting supports as often as you might with a thinner wood or traditional American plywood that has a very thin face veneer that just wasn't sustainable anymore. And then on top of the weight factor, uh, we decided to move on to a new plywood that is made out of aspen. Everybody's question in van life is where's my toilet? Where is my shower? Yes. This van has an outdoor shower. It's okay. It's going to be right here. You just simply spin the sink around and shower underneath it. And if you want to really get you know down all the crevices and stuff, you can pull this down, get your armpits, all, right. all of that. Um, and how many gallons of water do you have for your shower? This has a seven by seven setup. Okay. So that's going to be, you've probably seen this before, a seven gallon um, container on one side, seven gallon container on the other. Mm -hmm. But this specific model is designed to be easily upgradable in that specific capacity so you can add a 20 gallon fresh in exchange for some storage that's going to be interior and then an 11 gallon gray that's going to go underneath toilet is going to be down here just slides out from the dinette very nice cartridge toilet dometic nothing real too special here but the ease of access is fantastic and these toilets are notoriously short so by putting it on this platform that's slightly raised to match the seat heights, you get a more ergonomic seating position on the toilet. Yeah, you do. You can put little drawers down here. Yeah, gotta use all the space. Gotta use all the space, he says. Where do I keep my, fre my food all fresh? That's right. So <laughs> we have an isotherm fridge right here. Oh, wow, this is an isotherm. It is, um, and it has a built-in ventilation system, so we don't have to build in any ventilation below it or above it. This is actually a fan in here. And we also add our own ventilation in the rear through the use of some clever holes. It just opens up like any other fridge would. It gives you a little more room in this drawer up top. It's a great drawer for some of those bigger kitchen items, maybe like a spatula, yeah. some of those tools, you know. And while we're on the topic of the fridge, we should talk about the kitchen triangle. So oh, yes. most vans have a kitchen vector, yes. it's just a line where you have a fridge, stove, and sink. Mm -hmm. And in this layout, we have the perfect triangle for functional use of the kitchen. When you're in the kitchen, there's usually three main components you're gonna be contacting to prepare your meal. And that's gonna be your stove, the sink. Nice deep sink. Nice deep sink, you can even wash your hair in there if you want. Yeah. And then your refrigerator. So, and on top of that, we even have a kind of expandable space here. Oh, right, here we go. Remove this mattress. Gotta grab that pillow so I'll get on the bed, in which case I can use these steps. Move the pillow out of our way. Wow. Now, he made it look a lot heavier than that really is. You can pick that up one handed almost. Yeah, this is light. It's super light. Now, we've expanded our living space in just a few seconds. I have more counter space here, here, and here. And I can really cook a full meal in here. I can get all of my ingredients out of this huge pantry drawer. Look at that. I can fit some cereal boxes down there, some medium sized items here, maybe like some grains, something like that. And then your cans up in the top. 
plenty of room here for your silverware, low profile items. Another good drawer for maybe some kitchen tools, plates, something of that regard. Very nice. And then down here we have an oversized drawer, which can be a dual function of either just your trash, trash recycling. Um, and if you go with just the trash, you can fit a little something there in the back side, maybe a large pot, something of that regard. So actually, before we put the bed back, we even talk about the bed, this is actually a perfect time to talk about what's behind this cabinet. Yes. You have a lot of electrical, my friend. Yes. So this is our new a la carte wheel well electrical system. It'll fit any van, but specifically designed for the ProMaster. It'll have a little extra room if you have another van. Is that wrapped in rubber for vibration purposes? Yeah, okay. so um, anytime you have a door um, or something that's just gonna be sitting on like wood on wood, mm -hmm. it's gonna make some noise. Um, we've wrapped the whole thing in a neoprene strip, virtually eliminate any sound. Ventilation slots to allow good airflow. And how many, how big is your battery bank? We have a single 300 amp hour battery. Very nice. 3000 watt inverter. That's gonna be the multi plus, you're probably familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Down here, we have a Serbo GX, which allows Venture House to troubleshoot your electrical system remotely from anywhere in the world. If you have an internet connection, we can sign on to the VRM portal and access your system and see exactly what's going on, the historical data and things like that. All the big time van builders are using them. This is all your electrical, which is great. There's a wheel row right there for people that don't know that. Is on the other side of you just storage and, and uh, cause you already, you already solved the, water issue so is this all just storage on yep. the other side just one big storage compartment wow something to consider with this storage is this is honestly going to be partially some kitchen storage because something you might notice is if you put your trash down here where are you going to put a lot of your larger items like pots and pans yeah so this is a great little pan cabinet here depending on your lifestyle and your needs we like to always include a variety of storage sizes. A lot of people like to make things exact same size across the board, but that limits you because we have things that are different sizes. Very intentionally made this bottom compartment large enough to fit things like folding chairs, a skateboard, something of that nature, long and linear. Then these are more designed for things like bedding, pillows, large clothes items, your puffy jacket, just shove it in here. And intentionally we did no cabinetry because this is high enough to allow us to build in a cargo tray or bike tray or mm. we can even do a half tray that only goes to here wow so when you pop your bed back you can still access this floor space now if you have gear here a lot of people want to cover things and put doors because doors are nice sure they look nice but they limit the functionality of accessibility so it's good to again have a variety of storage solutions. So with the bungees, you can see my comforter is kind of bulging out here. If I had a bunch of cargo here, I could reach around and access my gear without having to have the clearance for a door to open. So how big is the bed? Uh, the bed is a queen size bed. So I'll put this back down now. Sounds good. Look at how module and just ease and light and how everything fits in here beautifully. And it even, but before we put that mattress on, I just want to show something real quick. It even slid in right here, so yeah. this sucker ain't going anywhere. Nope. And if you look underneath this, these are rounded. Aha. Uh -huh. So it kind of self centers into these slots. Okay. Wow. I mean, very intentionally added a lot of tolerance to the three slots in the rear, but made the front one pretty tight. So that every time you put it in, your face is gonna align flush right there. I love it. So you'd used a, it looks like a, a, vine, a um, what kind of veneer? Formica. Formica, thank yes. you. I was trying to think of the word. Formica and you came laminate. Up with it. Formica and, uh, laminate. While we're over here though, going back to the size of the bed. Please. It's gonna be a queen size bed. 60 inches deep, 70 inches wide on the mattress, but wall to wall, 78. We have an option here, if you like storage, we got some deep cubbies here. Mm -hmm. You can drop your keys in there, your cell phone, anything you want to access quickly during the night. But if you're a larger human and you really want some firm space in that area, we offer a foam insert to expand the bed. Back to the Formica though. Um, Formica is a very durable laminate surface. They've been making countertops and things like that for a long time. Now, Aspen's a very soft wood. So we have the light core 
with the bulletproof exterior and that creates a product that's going to be perfect for a van kick scuff dog whatever dirt get it all in here all over and then just wipe it off at the end of the day i just want to talk about one more thing we're going to go outside and we're going to talk about the back one open the back yeah. door is beautiful this is so beautiful and, and zen <laughs> are you including steps if you want yeah we'll hang up. <laughs> if you want because yeah. i know you made that on your cnc are. <laughs> now you are <laughs> yeah open up the back for me because when you open it up for me oh i'm sorry actually before you open up the back oh yes we got to talk about these yes so these are the brand new van windows direct pro master rear slider windows they are lovely they're lovely they look good they fit great glue in clean installation i'm gonna open it up so you can check out the inside now are they making screen inserts or are they doing anything along they those lines make a screen version okay they do yes and we opted for the ones without a screen because we were talking about uh potentially integrating a window shade okay that has a roll-up function with a screen below it that's perfect mm -hmm. that's exactly what you need so just a slider i love it though yeah it's super nice super i mean nice. i mean Van Windows Direct has like come so far since I Seriously. learned. From I mean, my... it used to be this like fringe company. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? They're awesome. Uh, and more bungees and more storage. You're just trying to utilize all the space you can. Of course. So these door panels fit any Pro Master. We got them up top, down low. There's one in the slider. I'm a devil in the details. Just the simplicity of the cutouts to hang baggage and other things. Oh yeah, hats, bags for your climber. You can hang your slings there and get your gear ready. More storage. Going back to storage real quick then, the variety. So variety is important. If I have a lot of gear in here, it's gonna be hard to access this area from the exterior. So this is our accessible storage here. This is the stuff where I want it right when I get out of the van. Sure. Uh, TJ, you, have, you guys have come you guys have done a fantastic job on just minimalizing a functioning van for two people one person it doesn't really matter say your information again contact you yeah yeah so um venture house we're in evergreen colorado just 20 minutes outside downtown denver my name is tj rivers you can find me on instagram at venture house right on v e n t u r h a u s uh, you can find us on the web just www.venturehouse.com right on the front page there's a build inquiry button you just click that it'll ask you what you're looking for full custom electrical system design diy consulting partial builds just select what you're looking for and it'll take you to the next options that are relevant and it'll go straight to my image. TJ, can't thank you enough for showing off your uh, amazing build and uh, design, more importantly. Uh, and thanks again and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much, Jared.